Hey guys, going to do another reading, another clip here. Um, and just going to read through this real quick. It says, not all people are going to awaken. Um, you need some people in the play that are unconscious players that are signed up for the play of life that nobody else wanted. And so you have different plays of life going on at one time, not just all love. The resistance of love, which is separate. There's no... Um, hate, uh, although we like to call it hate, you know, which is the opposite maybe of the stream of love, but it's the lack of love. It's not really hate because there's no hate. We just term it that. It's the love or the lack of love, right, in consciousness. Um, because the further away of love you get, there's emptiness, right? So there's no, it's not real hate. It's just empty of love, the absence of, right, which is lack. And so you have different plays of life going on at one time, not just all love, roles of conscious and consciousness um, at different levels, states of being for what else is the reason for the play, the difference, right? The difference in reference, right? Dif difference, right? Dif rents, difference, right? Which is the states of consciousness, right? Different streams of consciousness. You either have from consciousness to unconsciousness, which is a stream. Everything's a stream from the opposite ends. But in each one opposite end, there's one of this, one of this, one of this, one of this. It's not duality, but we like to see it as duality because it's one to the other, right? But it's only one of each, right? which I've done videos on. <laughs> um, so, And that's part of the channeling of the I am discourse um, that talked about it in there. Which, by the way, is not fully done yet, but <laughs> I get so many different downloads. I'm just trying to, uh, so much information, trying to get it all put together here. But anyway, <clears throat> the conscious and the unconscious roles that we sign up for, uh, in this we are picking our parts and our roles uh, to be in the existence. And we're willing to be the part and the role to play, even when it's not something that is glorious or wanting or loving or kind, right? But we're choosing to pick it because even though in the roles that we're picking that aren't conscious or love, it helps to bring others into alignment, right? Because sometimes they need that. They need the shuffling along the path. They need the um, something bad's going to happen for you to see. They need that extra push, right? Because we get comfortable in our lives, right? If we, um, a lot of people who, you know, have everything, you know, they're just content with the way life is and they don't evolve, right? So sometimes, you know, that's why, and I did a video on that, why do bad things happen to good people or, you know, there's no good and bad or right or wrong or anything like that. It's just things happen to help move us along the path of evolution. That's basically what it is when it comes down to it. When you take all the perception or realities away from it, that's all that really is. So we do have those who create um, and sign up for those who want to play the role, you know, of the ones that are not love, right? So we have both dualities. And so you can't have one without the other, not because it's duality, but because it helps in the scheme of things, right? And a broader scheme of seeing, you know, not our limited view, like the victim of who we did or did what to who or blaming and shaming and um, all that, you know, kind of bickering going on within ourselves, right? So anyway, uh, it's different levels and states of being for what else is the reason of the play, the difference, right? The difference, right? So difference, difference, right, is your reference, your frame of reference is from another person. We don't all have the same reference frame or perception. So we're all seeing from a different perspective. So the conscious and the unconscious roles were signed up for this we're picking our parts or roles so there's no victims in the role because you're choosing it to be who you are for the experience of it so we're um and what you are experienced so we're choosing so when we choose something it's not a victim and so there's no victimhood because we're all choosing our roles everything is choice every moment of the day we're choosing something we're choosing to get up or we're choosing not to get out. We're choosing to have coffee or we're not choosing to have coffee. We're choosing to have breakfast or we're choosing not to have breakfast. We're choosing every moment of the day and that is a result of our choice. There's no victimhood in choosing, right? So there is no victimhood, right? So when you're learning to see through the illusion at things the way that they are, you're able to see and navigate the world from a different way, from a different perspective. And it's not that the world is against you or anybody else is there to hurt you or harm you and live in fear but you're able to navigate from a place of 
power, right? Because I'm here, I'm creating my own experience. It's totally different than where you are on a limited view of a perspective of humanness, right? Um, so there's no aging nor death. So, so the one you're believing in these that don't serve you, there's no aging or death, right? So for example, there's no aging and there's no death, right? Because we don't age. We're still who we are. The body ages. We don't. There's no death because we live beyond our physical form, right? We just we shed the physical body, right? It's an evolution process, right? It's like the flower that the seeds being planted into the dirt, covered up, and during that you're you're manifesting, and then you become this um, out of the dirt, and you become this flower. That's human life, the human consciousness. You know, we become into this physical form, and we're the flower that buds, and then we're in, it's an evolution, right, of the self, just like a flower. Right, and so there's no aging nor death. <clears throat> so the, only the one we believe in these that we don't serve, right? So the limitations of our perception serves the purpose of suffering <laughs> when we're not in consciousness, which is the lack of consciousness, which is unconsciousness. We're bringing back the power of who we are in different than reflecting that power onto others, which is the victim, which is our explained, which we explained that doesn't exist. <clears throat> now, I've talked about that in other videos, or they've talked about it and brought that through. And so when you know yourself, you are no longer the victim, but in control of your life. I did a view on the victimhood. And so you're not just giving your power away and then blame others when you don't know who it is that you are. Because when you're able to know who you are, you're taking control and power back and responsibility over your life. You're not giving it away to others. Because then when you do that, you're open to receive things that you're not wanting, right? And so there's no victims in life to that which has chosen to live life, right? And so what you're choosing that you don't know of, and so you don't see your finger in your own eye. Uh, just because you don't know what you've, and you don't realize what you've chosen doesn't mean it's not you, right? So it is what you don't see in your life that you are now to others and to yourself and how you're showing up. So it will be set up for your advancement in life as a way of communicating with others in a certain way that you get to understand yourself and your existence in the play of life for it is all connected as one, not separate of itself, right? Which is the deeming, uh, the redeeming of itself, right? Um, to bring yourself back to yourself, right? Everything is in your favor. So why are you here and why is it important to be here now in this time, in this frame, and to work on yourself is to develop and understand who you are, right, which is the play of life, right? And so <clears throat> we all have a part in the play of life. It can't be it without you, and so you're all responsible for the life you lead, uh, regardless of the role that you're playing, right? And so... Uh, sh like shedding the things that uh, even when you're here playing the, uh, what they're saying is when we're playing, even the rules that we're not wanting to play, that's not love, right? And so learning that it's just a role that we're taking up and playing it and not to um, suffer that and put it down when we're ready, you know, um, because then otherwise we're recreating, we're in that karmic cycle, right? Frame of mind. Um, and so you venture the game by your own choosing, and this is there is no going back, only forward, right? And so make the best of it while you are here. Don't worry about others, which is the message that we've been saying all along. Your fears and passions don't mix. You can't make everyone happy, and you too, right? You can only either make yourself happy or them, and you got to make the choice. Just do yourself and get along. Right? You don't need to have uh, fighting and wars going on. You know, if we understand the concepts of who truly are, we understand um, it's w uh, us within, you know, against ourselves, not others, right? We put that perception there to think it is outside of ourselves, right? Uh, which is part of the play. And so you don't have to do anything special if you don't want to with your life, but don't tell yourself that you will and then you don't, right? Because then you're against yourself. And so the main question is um, uh, life. So many question their life and its purpose. And I did a view on that. Purpose is life and to live life. 
um, if you don't have anything that you have to do it is if you want to so it's not a requirement that you do anything but live your life as you choose to be fit for your liking right you don't have to do anything because somebody else tells you to do it just do it because you want to do it right if you don't want to do it don't do it don't make yourself do something you don't want to do because you're going against the grain which is the energy right when i say the grain it's the energy the purpose and the will so anything other than that is suffering your existence, right? If you want to be part of the play, great. If not, just be in existence as you are. Just exist, right? Either way, you're, li you're living your life one more consistent than the other, but just the same. For you cannot be anything other than that which it is because you are existing regardless anyway, right? So you're just here. You're existing anyway. So why not <laughs> exist as you are? Right? If not anything else, right? If you don't want to be part of the play, you know, and play the roles in the game. Uh, so just be it. If you don't get any answers, <clears throat> just be some more. Not be more than who you are, but just be. Just be more. Just do it more, basically. And so if it is enlightenment that you are after, then dance. Otherwise, just be. Because even in just being is an existence of enlightenment, it's intelligence, right? Because then you understand yourself from that perspective, right? It's when you're being and doing and everything, you're seeing, you're understanding yourself from that perspective. And then just being is you're seeing from this perspective, right? Of just being. So you don't always have to do something for stuff to exist because you just, you exist as it is as anyway, right? You're already existing. You don't need to do anything to exist. Just be in an experience in of itself and you can find yourself. So either way you win, which is choosing because there's always choice. So there is no losing and it's all judgments of it that is um, if you are thinking you are losing. So it is a game of winning um, and you can't lose. One is just less eventful in its evolution. And so don't feel bad when you're not... if when you're not failing because you don't have anything to fail at. There is no test or grade to pass that suggests there is something outside of you judging you and there isn't only yourself. So you have no grades or tests to pass to be yourself or on the other side. So none of this exists on the other side. There's no testing. It's all here. It's all judgment. It's all testing. It's all frame of reference. It's all competition and it's not like that on the other side is what it's saying right and so that is all here as a part of the play and journey to think of life to think you are better or to beat life right so you can't cheat life and you you're not better than any others it's just the reality that you're living in which is what you call life and so which is different than the life that exists in itself which is not the play but the play of life right and so we all have an important part and role in it the play of different stages and you have so much to share and say about our experiences and so don't belittle yourself and play small in the time that you have together to be here for it's all only a temporary to be a part of the greater show of life right your parents your parents um, if you're choosing to play show from a self of knowing it's okay to be where you are on the grander scheme of things which is life because you are life with purpose and there's no better thing to be than life itself right and so when you see yourself in the eyes of source that you will realize yourself not others it's when you see yourself in others that you doubt yourself right so see through the eyes of others unto source for it is also within them that's within you on all different levels so we're all created equal right we all have the ability to be in the emotions in our thoughts our beliefs on every different single level and we also have the ability to be um, divinely connected with source so we're all created equal we all have everything the same because we have all the tools that we need to navigate this life right there's nothing that's unequal within itself it's what you're creating that is unequal to itself which is um, the divine being, right? So you're either in alignment with it or you're not, and that's all the different levels and streams of consciousness within yourself that you're creating from, but which is what you're seeing from, which is your experience that you've already created from the beginning of time until now, right? Because we have all that dimension within ourselves as well. So, for instance, if we've 
become aware of certain situations in our life that's arising within this life. A lot of time it's from our past life or our karmic or our earlier lifetime, our childhood that is um, producing now that we're seeing from, which is our perspective, right? Now I've had a couple different past lives that I've become aware of that is affecting and bleeding into this lifetime. And so that's how I know that, right? I've had the Native American, I've had the Buddhist in the, um, uh, cause I was a Buddhist and a monk. Um, I was also a nun. Um, I've also been a shaman, a healer. I've been quite a few different um, uh, perceptions, you know, uh, frameworks or uh, beings, human consciousness in different realities up until this point. I was also um, a bug, uh, you know, in a spider web. And I was also different things from different perspectives, you know. And, all that has come together where I am right now in this moment, creating this form, and this knowledge is still there, but I'm just in this different form. Everything that you've collected from the beginning of time all the way up into this very present moment is with you because you've gained that experience, that knowledge and wisdom through your play of life. And so it's helped to, to create who you are now. It's not just the frame here because when we are looking at another person, we're only seeing the frame. We don't only see their experience. The only time we see their experience is how they're showing up as their experience. You know, if people are struggling, then we see that they have struggles, but we think they're just being rude and ignorant, you know, <laughs> things like that. But it's their experience that's, you know, creating that. And so when we're creating ours and we're interacting with another person, they're either colliding or aligning, right? And so um, I have another video that I'm going to be doing that on, like, our tribe, which we believe we think we is a tribe. Uh, which is just a, another illusion, false concepts, right? Uh, kind of like religion. Um, but when we're coming in alignment to each other, like it, we're either drawn to it or we're, we're reflected from it. And so, or we're, you know, not attracted to it, right? And so everything is attractment. So everything comes at the time, right? And so it's attraction uh, that we have these experiences that, people will show up and play that part and role in our lives. Um, and sometimes people will call that karma, but it's not really karma because there is no karma. And I've done a video on that. Um, so the truth of that, you know, and I've, I've seen that when I had my death experience, I went home, there is no karma. There's no sin, there's no karma. There's nothing against you. Um, there, you know, we go through a lot of this stuff because we're in a perception of unconsciousness, right? And we think that we are when we're in the human perspective. And you can tell when somebody's in the human perspective because we're living the human life. When we're outside of the human concept, we're <clears throat> connected with source and we're um, seeing from that perspective, right? And so that's how our life is. And so you can see who or who it is that's really divinely connected, right? Or who's in their human version of themselves. Um, by how they're existing into the world, right? And so it's either the concept or the truth, right? So there's only one truth, which is source. Um, but with within that, you know, when you are coming into the experience with another person, and I talked about this, you know, you're creating your own reality and they're willing to play that part and role for you, um, which is choice, right? We signed up for it and to be able to have that experience together, you're gaining more knowledge and wisdom from the experience, right? Even if it's something that we're not wanting, right? So, which is the, um, where we get our understanding, right? And so, so see through the eyes of others and the source for it is all also within them. Their source, we're source, but they also have the ability to be something else and so do we, right? It's all here. And so it's like that reference, um, you know, like when you are, raising a puppy, right? A lot of people feel like um, uh, like certain dogs will have that um, tendency to attack, you know, was it the pit bulls or, you know, um, the bulldogs or whatever they are. Um, and so they all automatically deem them as, you know, dogs that need to be done away with or locked up, things like that. But it's the grooming of it. Right? It's the grooming of that dog. Just because it has that tendency, we all have that tendency. It's our grooming. It's our experience. It's who we are. Right? And so that's 
the human concept. We're either being in the human concept or reality of what is or and then what isn't, which is true or false based on our perception of where we are along the stream of consciousness and our evolution, right? Which is two different streams. You're either source or you're not, which is separate and then or one with, right? And so it's the two different consciousness that exist. And from that, all else exists within there, right? So it's like love and then the lack of love. And then you have source and then the non-source, right? Which is the light and the dark. And then you have, it's all these different streams of consciousness that come from that one that you can become within that stream of consciousness on all levels, if that makes sense. And so don't doubt yourself in who you are because you can be anything. And so it is when you are not trying to be something that you find yourself. Um, it's when you are trying to be something, it's a circus. Uh, that's the illusion of the self. So just be yourself and it will come to you. And so basically just know yourself in the play, who you're being, what you're showing up as, um, you know, and just enjoy life, right? Not everybody's going to awaken like we think we are think we are because we need that person to be in that role that's going to be the resistance to ourselves to help us wake up because if we are all just in in bliss and you know and it's just being right what else is there to be right the consciousness of itself and so we don't have the experiences in the play but we have that uh, person playing in the role uh, that's choosing to do it because there's no victim right <clears throat> and then you have the person who's choosing not to be in that role, um, but to be the one who's on the receiving end of it, to have the experience, right? And so it's creating like this resistance for you to not be in your comfort zone so you can awaken uh, and become realized of it, right? And be the knowledge that you have to share in the world, right? And so a lot of us um, are able to share our experiences in the world, which helps people gain the knowledge and wisdom that they need to help share in others, right? So it's all connected, right, if we want, really want to look at it. And a lot of people, you know, don't take a look at it, you know. And I know people who are constantly, and it's okay, they're, they're where they are. They're in the, and I call it like the, um, the seed's been planted because they are here, but most of their lives are um, underground like the seed, right? They're in hibernation or they're, um, they're waiting for the right time to become the flower, right? So they're underground, they're, they're playing their roles in, in the world and society, but they're not blossomed yet. <clears throat> so when they're underground, they're doing all this other stuff, it's kind of like living in the shadows or in the darkness, but they're still here, they're still here because the seed's been planted. Um, but it's not time for them to awaken. And so they play their role until it's time for them to awaken. And so somebody else will help them awakening, just like they've helped other people to awakening. And then the, somebody's going to help them awaken us. It's like the chain of evolution of helping others to awaken through the roles that we're playing, which is either divinely connected or separate from it, right? So the chain of evolution and uh, of awakening uh, is what that is. Um, and that's kind of what I, I look at it as because like you have those who are just kind of existing in the world, you know, they get up, they um, do their thing, they go to work, they come home, they make their dinner, they sit in front of the TV and do nothing. Uh, and then they play again, right? And that's the cycling um, of the per se unconscious, um, not the one who's awakened yet, but in their play of the role, they're playing a role. And so they're kind of, you know, just there holding space in a sense. So it's their existence of who they are at the moment as they're playing the role, you know, of the conscious that they are. And so um, you have those that are just in that experience. And for my frame of reference, I see that as um, those who are status quo in their life in the comfort zone um, and no awakening has come to them. They're still in the seed process, right? And they're not, life hasn't pushed them to the point where it's time for them to awaken or certain situations haven't come to, to them to awaken them, right? It's not time for them, right? But those who are awakening, time has come for you uh, to awakening um, from where you are, right? And so you have those that are have the time the awakening and then you have those who aren't 
that are still the seed. Um, you have those who are budding, who are in the process of awakening. So you have the awakening, the awakening, the awakened, the awakening, and then the seed um, that's still um, cir circumventing or circumcontemplating um, on a certain level. And then you have you know, those who are just starting. Um, so you have the evolutions um, of the consciousness, which I'm just giving you as an example to help you see what I'm talking about. So you have all these different plays of life that's happening uh, within yourself, depending on where you are along the stream of consciousness, because everything happens at a certain point, which is divine timing, right? It's not really on our timing, because sometimes we cannot prevent or stop things from happening that are meant to happen in divine timing, whereas we can on our own end. Um, and so that's just circumventing the things that we're, we're doing, right? And so it's changing evolution um, in of itself on that level for the experience that um, is being created, right? And so to see it from that perspective, uh, you know, you're able to have a better um, scheme of what's going on in, in the world. And when we're having those who are playing those roles that aren't always pleasant and doing the things that we're doing is, um, you know, part the part in the play, you know. And so not all of us are going to awaken um, at the same time. It's just the way that it's been set up, right? Because you need those who are going to motivate some of us uh, to move along that stream of consciousness to awakening. So everything is for us, right? And so that includes all perspectives, right? So hope that makes sense. Happy journeys. Thank you.